47 years after Malder Plata, we must now recognize that we are facing a completely new magnitude of the global water crisis. It's not only that we're failing on the management of the dignity of those over 2 billion people that are lacking fresh water, safe fresh water in SDG 6, it's also that we have climate extremes hitting water as victim number one, droughts, floods, heat waves, undermining livelihoods across the world. But the third dimension is the new one, and that's what you see here on the screen, which is that we are now pushing the entire water cycle out of balance. Climate change is shifting the freshwater supply. We cannot even rely on the freshwater supply every year because we're changing land system management, which in turn corresponds to up to 50% of the rainfall in countries is dependent on functioning ecosystems. What you see here on the slides is the blue areas are the sources of rainfall over land and the red areas are the regions that are receiving downwind the, the rainfall that evaporates from the green water from those zones that have still intact forest and land systems. So the blue areas, for example, here, um, just to see if we come to one this is one of the really researched areas. You see the blue areas here coming from the sourcing in green water for the rainfall and then how the Amazon rainforest supplies this in red regions. For example, meaning that Brazil supplying downwind to Peru and Argentina um, up to 30% of, of rainfall in these downwind areas. There's a geopolitical interconnectivity, which means that we have to manage as water as a global common good, not only in terms of transboundary river basins, but also in terms of our interdependence on stable rainfall. So this is now the challenge, that we are threatening the very stability of all sources of fresh water, namely rainfall.